Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Yancey and this is my garden. I am so excited. First of all, I want to tell all of you guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I am so grateful that you are part of our tribe, our community. Welcome to the Miss Yancey Network. We are so grateful to have you here. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. That would be really, really helpful to reach my goals as well as like this video. It is a free and easy way to send me and my channel support. And I appreciate you for doing that. There's a ton of things that need to be done in the garden today. And one of those things is I need to support my watermelon. Melons. I showed you guys my watermelons on the last video from when that was filmed which was a couple of days ago when I tell y'all the watermelon has gotten so big and it needs support and a lot of you have been asking how do I do my pantyhose support for my watermelons and my cantaloupe I'm about to show you exactly how I do it even though there's a whole live that I did on this exactly so you click the video in the description box after you're done watching this one if you want to watch me do the first couple of watermelons that I had as well as the cantaloupes and how I did it but right now I'm about to show you guys how I support my watermelons with the pantyhose all right y'all come along no look how big this thing is this thing is bigger than my hand now can you believe this this is the watermelon that I showed you guys like I think a video or two ago and it was not this big and now that I'm over here I am seeing a new one that's coming look at this look at this y'all now what I am wondering though about this watermelon is kind of yellow is that normal also you guys said that I wasn't patting the watermelon properly before so what do you guys think now I'm gonna use the flat of my hand to tap it to see if it's ready and you guys let me know whoa Stop touching that. Can you hold the camera for me? Hold it right here. Thank you. I don't know. Oh my God, it's ready. It's ready? It's split. Yes, it's ready. I just noticed that it's split open here. Oh my God. So, it's ready, L. Do we need to take it away in our house? Yes. Hold the camera on the watermelon right here. Let me go get the knife so I could cut it. So guys, this is my mommy mom. Shake and shadow. Got the camera on the watermelon? Huh? Okay, so we're going to cut it because it exploded. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, you can see the watermelon in there? Yeah. Look. Mommy, I am your helper. Oh my gosh, you are my helper. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, y'all. I think this thing was on there for too long and it looked like it exploded and it was time so what this tells me is i need to harvest Mommy, that one and i'm about to right now Mommy, no i can't do that good job baby oh my gosh look at this y'all even though it is not perfect i have my first watermelon gosh y'all I think I am going to harvest this today. So what I was told is that the closest tendril to the watermelon has to be dried up. And this is it right here. And it looks dried up. So I am going to harvest this bad boy today. What in the world is this? Some kind of spider. But all right, y'all, I'm about to harvest. And I think I'm gonna harvest this one also. Cause I do not want what happened to that last watermelon to happen to this one. But I'm gonna hit that. I don't know, is that hollow enough? We shall find out. It's been on here for a good amount of time. So I think it's ready y'all. Alrighty y'all, I'm about to take this down. See what happens. I have to be super careful because Oh my gosh, this thing just fell off. Jeez, damn, this thing is heavy. Oh my God. Y'all, look at this thing right here. This thing is, oh my God, this is huge. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge, y'all. Y'all, look at this. Woo. I'm scared to put this on my food scale because I feel like it is going to break the food scale. 
if you're gonna put your watermelon or any of your melons on a trellis or anything like that you need to support it with like some type of support like I used an old curtain to hold this watermelon and for my cantaloupes I use pantyhose which I'm about to show you guys how I'm about to support the other watermelon but for this one it was kind of big so I used like an old curtain to support this but look at how big this thing is oh my gosh look at it it's so huge it's big now we have another ball watermelon this is so big all right y'all so this is what i used this is an old curtain that i had and didn't have had no need for so i chopped it up and turned it into a watermelon support so you could use anything that you have in your house that you don't need anymore to support your melons and using your garden okay this is sustainability 101 <laughs> I know, it's right here, right? Yeah. I think this one is ready as well because this tendril has dried up. So I'm going to harvest this one as well. Let's go ahead and cut this. Woo! How exciting is this? Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, this is way beyond ready. It has the brown spot on the bottom. Oh yeah, this is ready. Oh my gosh, look at this y'all, this is ready. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I grew a watermelon. Oh my God, this is so exciting y'all. Y'all have no clue how exciting this is. All right, I'm gonna give this one to my neighbors because they graciously allowed me to grow my watermelon on their side because it came on their side and they said it was okay for it to grow on their side. So they get to have a watermelon. So I'm gonna give my neighbors this watermelon and then I'm gonna keep this one. Now that was a great harvest. Oh my God, look at these babies. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, so that's the difference between the two watermelon. This one was sitting on the ground even though I had it in that I had it in a little sling which is a pantyhose but it got too heavy and it got down to the ground and then this one it was hanging in the curtain which is more sturdy so it didn't go all the way to the ground that's why it doesn't have the spot on it but I still think this is ready I'm actually gonna cut it with you guys and let you guys know but I'm gonna give this to my neighbor and ask her to take a picture when she cut it so I can see what it looked like I'm pretty sure this is ready cuz this is what all the outlets say about a water that a watermelon that is ready so i think this is ready for sure now this is going to be a surprise and now i'm going to cut open the other one that i showed you guys earlier that seemed like it got a disease because it was on the vine for too long are you ready let's go, go. let's go Woo! we're excited all right whoa Ooh, it's so juicy. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at this, y'all. Look at my melons. Woo! They are perfect. I know. Oh my god. Mommy, that's all the seeds in it. It has seeds in it. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. Look at how beautiful this is. Can I touch it? Look at all these seeds. Mommy, can I touch it? Yes, you can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you one. Here you go. Cut you a piece. Oh, it's a shed. Mommy, it's a shed. It's the seeds. Can I touch the seeds? Oh my gosh. Can I touch the seeds? Mommy, can I touch the seeds? Wow, look at this. I want to read it like that. You do? Yeah. Okay. I am a big girl. Yes, you And are. I go to preschool. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> daddy. Sorry. I do remember. Yeah. No. <laughs> Don't daddy. Okay. I got a big watermelon mix for you. And I'll need the big watermelon mix oh, for you. Oh, my goodness. And my watermelon mix for me. Mmm, let me try one. Mmm. I'm so lucky. 
This is so sweet. Mommy, can I taste it? Can I taste it? Mm hmm. It's, it's, it's yummy. yummy. It is sweet. Non GMO watermelon. Grew straight from my garden from seed. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Yummy, man. It's delicious. Mmm. One that's thrown on the floor. Right now, can we take this? That's your daddy. Oh, bring it. I'll cut it. Inside. all right guys so this is the watermelon that i cut and it had this weird looking split in it it is not edible look how soft it is <laughs> unfortunately so this is what it looks like but it's okay because the other one that i gave to my neighbor was really good she sent me a picture and i'm gonna insert the picture in here for you guys to see it was like really good. She said it was so, so sweet. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is harvest the seeds from this for next year. So today we are going to harvest the seeds from this watermelon, even though the watermelon is not edible. It doesn't all have to go to waste. We can harvest these seeds for next year and do not have to buy any watermelon seeds at all. So it's not a total waste. At least I still have a whole watermelon that I can use and I'm gonna have a surplus of seeds for next year. So all I'm doing is removing the seeds from in here and then I am going to wash it so that the pulp from the watermelon juice can get off of it. I'm gonna let it get dry and then store it in like a dry area. Like I'm probably gonna put it in a Ziploc bag or a, uh, paper bag, like one of those small paper looking envelopes. I'm actually gonna buy some so I can put all my seeds in there. Right now I have it all in Ziploc bags. So yeah, this is pretty much all you have to do to save the seeds. If you're eating the watermelon, of course you could spit the seeds out and save it and wash it and let it get dry and store it. And that's how you harvest watermelon seeds or any fruit seeds. All right, this is heading to the compost. It does not have any seeds. 
there are like the little white seeds that are in here but they're still like baby seeds so they're not going to germinate so I could go ahead and put this in a compost and remember do not put seeds into your compost unless you want a surplus of whatever it is that fruit or veggie is in all of your garden beds okay Bestie. Martha Lorraine's signature luxurious body butter is packed with all natural skin loving ingredients such as cocoa butter, coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin E oil, and biobab oil. With to perfection, it is lightly made to be easily absorbed into the skin without clogging your pores. This body butter is free of parabens, sulfates, and synthetic fragrances. Your new bestie.